Hey Gemini, welcome to the Crow Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for January. Uh, just a couple notes to keep in mind here. This is a general love reading, not a personal reading. So it may or may not resonate with you. Also, please feel free to check your rising moon and Venus signs, Venus especially for love reading. Uh, those may resonate with us more just depending on where we're at. Um, also, please don't forget to subscribe for further updates to the channel. And uh, let's get right into it here. Oh, also, please, uh, about time and timelines, please, you know, just keep in mind that time is super fluid and thus super changeable, okay? So what I'd like to do for love readings is we start out with a simple three card past, present, and future spread, and then we will do a you versus them spread, okay? So Gemini, past love energy for Gemini. What do we got? Ooh. Ten of Swords in reverse. Amazing that that came up in the past and in reverse. Okay. What is the present love energy for Gemini? Present love energy for Gemini. Oh, we got the tower. Okay, don't despair. It's only the beginning. <laughs> tower also isn't really innately negative either. I feel like that's a misconception. Let's do future love energy for Gemini. I'm just popping out here. Yes, Queen of Pentacles. Okay. What I'm getting here is yes. <clears throat> um, you know, when this is in the upright, it's like there was an ending to something and we're still feeling the pain of it. When it's in the reverse in this context, what I'm feeling for you guys is yes, there was some disappointment in past love and it did come to an end, but you're not wanting to dwell in it anymore. You're trying to move on from this because this means in the reverse that you have felt the full extent of that ending. Now the tower, now this can mean a few different things, but for me in this context for you guys, what I'm feeling is I feel like you have met someone or dealing with someone right now or about to meet someone who is literally gonna shake your world up, right? This is about, for me, you know, circumstantially too, they kind of could get you off the rails in terms of your set schedule or day-to-day -day or what have you, or what you thought you knew being challenged. But here, this is just about change. And then we have the two lovers here falling from the tower. So uh, I actually don't wanna speak too much on this before we get into the fuller part of the reading here, because that'll dictate and give more clarity to those. Queen of Pentacles here, you know, this is uh, very much the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles for me too are both the single ladies card. But the Queen of Pentacles for me is single lady and not necessarily loving it. So it's kind of like she's got all of this abundance, but you see the look on her face, she's kind of like, oh, but this doesn't quite fulfill me. What else is out there? There's got to be more. It's feeling kind of lonely here on this singular throne, right? But there's definitely stuff going on with you guys here. So let's get into the you versus them reading. I'd like to know if, you know, if you're dealing with someone new coming in here. I feel like you are. Let's see here, though. So we're going to get a card for where you are in relationship to this person, your challenge, and then your overriding energy, and then the same for them. And then we'll get some animal clarifiers. So let's get the card for Gemini, how they are in relationship to the this person. Oh boy, okay, two of swords in reverse, okay. Let's get a uh, challenge, what's your challenge? What is the challenge for Gemini? We're gonna, just to note, this could also read the other way around where it's really about this other person. Okay, amazing. Two. So you've got two twos here, right? Coming up right off the bat. Two of wands here, thinking about what's next. Not moving on it yet, but thinking about it anyway. Let's get a uh, overriding energy for Gemini, relationship to this person and love, overriding energy for my Geminis. Oh, hi, there it is. That's why I said don't despair at the beginning, especially with the tower. That's just the pre-show, y'all. <laughs> oh, Ace of Cups, you love them. And yourself, because this is also about self-love for me too, but this is a relationship reading, this is a love reading, so. Let's talk about this other person. Where are they in relationship to the Gemini here? Where are they in relationship to you, Gemini? Okay. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. 
Okay, this, this feels like uh, someone you've already been dealing with, okay? This is not a fresh energy, okay? Uh, what is the challenge? What is their challenge regarding you and this, this connection? Interesting. Four of Swords in the reverse. And what is their overall energy? What is the overall energy for them towards Gemini? What is it? Ace of Swords, here we go. So we've got two aces here, right? For the over, overall energy. Okay, so we're gonna get some animal clarifiers here too. But, you know, just off the bat here, you know, when this is in the upright, this is about being indecisive about something, about not wanting to move on it, not wanting to decide. You're here, so I feel like you, you know, you have made a decision, which is echoed here, and you're ready to move on. You're ready to pursue greener pastures, but what is interesting about this is that you're still Ace of Cups, cupsing this. Now this could mean one of two things. By the way, this could also always read in the reverse. Even though this is you and them, you could always flip that. Just take it as it resonates, okay? So this could be someone about you. But you know, Ace of Cups here, this is very, you know, I feel like in this context, this is about self-love. You, you've decided to love yourself more than this other person or situation. But I also feel like this is saying, too, it's a double meaning here for me, that you, you really do love this person. Okay, but this is either a co, this is like, this is someone you've already met, already been dealing with. So where they are in relationship to United Pentacles in reverse. So upright, this is a slow moving energy of wanting to offer um, stability within a relationship context and in reverse, I, they, you know, their challenge with you is they may, not, they may not feel like they have much to offer you right now. You guys are both in a place of like, you know, uncertainty a little bit. I think them more so than you, but they're not sure they have anything to offer you right now. So their challenge is uh, four of swords in reverse. Now, when this is up in the upright, this is about taking some time to think and not act, really getting your thoughts together, being the vampire in the coffin, and really just like letting your mind come to a place of rest about it too. So the fact that this is in the reverse, their challenge is actually taking action around how they feel around you. Again, this, this is mirroring this as well. So they're not in a place of taking action. And then we get up to this Ace of Swords here and their overriding energy. I feel like they're not necessarily coming forth with the truth of how they feel. It could be how they feel about you, but I also feel like it could be like the truth about a situation. Like there, you know, there, there, there was an ending here that I saw before. So you guys may not currently be in communication or on the outs or going that way. And this is, you may not have the full picture as to why that happened. It could have even been mutual, but there was stuff that they were not saying, um, but that they were thinking. So let's get animal clarifiers for these because it just, like I said, it helps create a bigger picture. Why is this Two of Swords in reverse here for Gemini? Why is this Two of Swords in reverse here for Gemini? Oh. Nice, Nightingale. Okay, so Nightingale is all about using your voice. And then you have Two of Swords in reverse here. I mean, that's beautiful. Why is this Two of Wands here? For Gemini, why is this two of wands here? Why is this two of wands here? Oh, yes, Phoenix. Yes, Phoenix, yes. I love this for you guys. This is, again, you're thinking about making steps towards something new and then the Phoenix comes in to validate that and says, yes, you are not who you used to be. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Gemini? Why is the Ace of Cups here? The mouse. Love it. Okay. Why is this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse here for who Gemini is dealing with? What's this Knight of Pentacles in reverse about? Ooh, come on, baby. Why is this Knight of Pentacles in reverse here for Gemini? Oyster, here we go. Again, things that haven't been said or revealed, okay? Why is this Four of Swords in reverse here for whoever Gemini is dealing with? Tiger, here we go. This is perfect. Tiger is very much about nighttime, uh, the subconscious, so this makes perfect sense with the Four of Swords in reverse. 
<clears throat> I'm getting a lot of information here. I'll speak on it in a second. So uh, last clarifier, why is this Ace of Swords in reverse here for who Gemini is dealing with? Why is that Ace of Swords here in reverse? Oh, I love it, Unicorn. Guys, all hope is not lost. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, so let's talk about you first. This person, I feel like, and again, this can be, you know, read in the reverse about them towards you, but I feel like, you know, let's just keep it about you, like I said. Um, this person may not have been offering you everything that you needed or wanted. They were giving you a cup half full, and, and maybe they didn't mean to. Maybe it was circumstantial. Maybe that was all they had to give you. <clears throat> but you're like, no, this it's falling short of what I need. Maybe it was crumbs. Maybe it was just the best that they could do at the time. And you're like, no, this is falling short of what I need. And, and you've realized that, okay? You've realized that. Maybe you vocalized it, and that's what kind of, you know, brought an ending to things, okay? If so, good for you. Now, this is, this is like, this is amazing for you guys. Because this did come up in your challenged position, though. Remember. So this is a call for here to you to move on and be the phoenix and rise above the ashes. But I feel like... You know, that's your challenge because you still very much have love for this person. And maybe you're weighing the love you have for you against them and you're like, oh, they're not giving me exactly what I need, but oh, I love them. Okay. You know, the mouse here energy too, which is what clarified the Ace of Cups. This is about looking at things from a different perspective. Mice can get in and out of places really stealthily with no one seeing them. They can get into places that, you know, for example, the tiger cannot. Right? If things went down apocalypse style, just as like a wild example, guess who would survive first? The mouse. So in the relation to the Ace of Cups here, I feel like this is like you are wondering about things that maybe you weren't seen. Oh, yeah, that makes perfect sense because of the Ace of Swords in reverse for their overall energy. So I think you might be scrutinizing the way that things went down, looking at the past, rerunning conversations in your head with them, and maybe looking for things that you hadn't seen before. I think you might be questioning here the whole relationship itself. <clears throat> Let's talk about them. So they're not feeling like they really have much to offer you. I might be, they, you know, I'm getting that they might be feeling that like you're too good for them. Okay. The oyster too, in this particular context, um, I feel like they, you know, they may not have come out and said this. They may have just, you know, walked away or let things die or you walked away from them and, and there was just something on the inside where they're like, I don't have my full oyster form to give them. Or my, I'm sorry, my full uh, pearl, which lives inside the oyster, to give them. I I, I can't, like I, I don't I can't, I don't have to give them what I know that they deserve. Now in their challenge position, challenge position here, you have four of swords in reverse and the tiger. So their challenge is actually being vocal about what's left unsaid here in telling you this. What I'm getting here too is you may have trouble letting go of this person and they know it and they don't completely want you to let go because they do love you, but they may, be have, they may have trouble actually vocalizing like, listen, listen, I'm not your person. I wish I was, I love you, but I am not your person. Again, this could be read in the reverse, but that's what I'm getting here. They maybe have trouble completely letting you go. They might be keeping you hanging on by a thread here even though they know it ain't right. But I don't think that they vocalized that as of yet. So the Ace of Swords in reverse here with the Unicorn. Now this is really, really, really interesting. The Unicorn is about innocence and purity and magic, right? The Unicorn is like completely allergic to deception. That's the energy of the Unicorn, okay? And this is all about in the upright. This is about truth, divine truth, absolute truth, right? Again, this is going back to I feel that there were things that they were not telling you, and it could have been even that, like, you know, this could be circumstantial, too, as to, as to why they can't offer you this pinnacle and this stability. Doesn't feel like infidelity. It could be. I'm not really getting that, though. I, I feel like it's more like there's just a truth about them. or I think it's more about where they are circumstantially in their life, where they're like, man, if, if things were just a little bit different, this would be a completely different story. Remember, just this is just the energy of how it is now. I'm not saying like this is going to go one way or the other. That's just where it is right now. Okay. You know what? I'm going to... Um get some more tarot cards here because that's what I'm feeling to do. Um, I'm gonna 
frame this question really carefully. Uh, what does Gemini have to look forward to in love? Because I feel like this was a little bit, not doom and gloom, but it was um, not really fluffy rainbows. Oh, buddy. You've got swords all over here. You could be dealing with a fellow air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. I've got fire and earth here too. Ace of Cups, we've got all the uh, elements represented here, but this is what you have to look forward to. I think they're actually gonna be honest with you about, about what they haven't been honest about, which will allow you to either move on or not need to for whatever reason. Like they could come forth and be like, you know, maybe the key of it is that it's the fact that they haven't been forthright and you have felt that, and that's why things are kind of wobbly or ended. But I think you, what you have to look forward to, this could be two things. This could be this them coming back around to you in a, in a really, because you know what? Maybe they did take the time. Maybe they did get their gumption up, right? And are coming towards you full throttle. And by them doing that, it's going to release you in a way to where you could, like I said, where you can actually move on to the next best thing. Not the next best thing, but like the next, you know, great thing for you allow you to fully be that phoenix and rise from the uh, ashes. This is interesting though, and I'm gonna pull more and here's why. I'm getting a new person here. Because I feel like, and the, you know, it could go either way, but I feel like this is could be indicating for some of you that a new person is coming in who's gonna be so forthright that they act as like such a um, counterpoint to the not being so forthright person here. I'm not saying this is a bad person. They just haven't been able to be honest for whatever reason. Maybe it's because they weren't being honest with themselves. I want to pull more about that. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords in regards to what... Because I asked what you had to look forward to, and the Knight of Swords came out. Hello. What does Gemini have to look forward to in love around this Knight of Swords? Is this a new person coming here, or is it the old one getting their stuff together and using their voice? <gasps> This is such a sword heavy reading. Page of Swords. This is new love. This is new love. This is someone coming in. I feel like there are two storylines playing out here, but let's just speak about this new love coming in. This Page of Swords is coming in. To, you know, this is a new person. It could be someone from the past that you just never really got into it with. But this is a Page of Swords coming in and just showing you how different they are in terms of they're, you're going to know exactly how they feel about you. They're going to tell you exactly as it is in a way that you're gonna be like, oh my God, I really feel like this could be a fellow air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because of all the swords action we got going in here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one more. One more. What's the outcome in love that Gemini can look forward to for January? What's the outcome in love that Gemini can look forward to in January? do with you later. Oop. <laughs> okay, this is actually beautiful because it's validating everything that I was saying. You have this other person that's in your, in your energy that you've already dealt with, but you also have a new person here too. I feel like you're going to be dealing with both of them. I feel like one is going to, new person's going to come in and be so different from this other person. It's going to give you a greater perspective and it's going to give you a greater direction of what you want to do. Do you want to go back to this, this other person and, you know, make things work? Or do you want to go with the new person and give that a shot? Old versus new. That's exactly what this is saying to me in this context. The good part is that you're going to have choices and love and that's that, that, that is amazing. Let's get some uh, romance oracle here. Last messages for Gemini for love for January. You're definitely very desired. There's that. I love it. Love messages for Gemini for January, please. Love messages for Gemini, please. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I love it. This is echoing what I just said. Okay, I think you're going to have choices in love. 
And I think what's going to help you out here is not giving it too much mental space. Don't overthink it. Fill up your own cup. Stop scrutinizing and focus on the love you have inside of you and the things in your life that you have to be grateful for. Okay? I feel like this is what's going to bring the, the new person in too. Let's get another. I want some more warm and fuzzies for you guys, my fellow air signs. Gemini, more love advice for Gemini for January, please. Ooh. Oh, well, we have a lot here. But I'm going to take them because that's just what I'm feeling. Oh, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. This is about, see how she's like all about him and he's like, I don't know. This is about, you know, my, I mean, come on. Come on. Right? Ace of Swords in reverse. This is about being honest about things. Definitely good advice here. <clears throat> now look at this. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Now, this could be this old person, you giving that another shot, and this working out in your favor. This is definitely a possibility here. I feel like this is about the old person, but it could be the new person coming in. It's just a, it's just a good love match. And that makes sense, too, because they're going to be so honest, okay? Yep. Ooh, retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Now, what I'm getting in this context is when you have this conversation with each other, right? I would do it in a way where you really give good time and space to it. I would do it uh, alone in terms of like, you know, one of your houses or don't do it in a cafe or like, a, you know, no distractions, really focus on the other. But I feel like this is also echoing this Ace of Cups and the need to focus on the love inside of you and the other things in your life that you love so that you can attract new love to you and so that you can also be in a good place to have this conversation um, when this other person comes back around to talk to you. Because I feel that they will. Okay, last one. Okay. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. I'm going to tell you right now. This could be about the old person, but I think it's about the new person. And it maybe oh, this makes greater sense now because I think part of the, the back and forth you're going to feel about this new person versus the old person, you're going to feel such an immediate connection with this new person where it's going to be easier in some ways than this old person. Okay, but there's no doubt about it. You're going to have options and choices and love and, and I love that for you. Um, so this was your January love reading. I so hope it resonated with you. If it did, would you please let me know in the comments below? Please drop me a like. Please subscribe. Please show me some love. Thank you. And um, also, I'm available for personal readings now. Um, all of that information is in the About Me section. Um, and thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you for being you, Gemini. And be well.